I'm in the town of Ketchikan, Alaska, where I was lucky enough to witness and film one of the most amazing wonders of the world. Did you guys just see what happened? Did you see the uh, seal swim through a, a school of about 100 salmon uh, hunting, trying to catch one of them? You, you didn't see that? Uh, you weren't paying attention? All right, let, let me replay that, but I'm going to zoom in and change the contrast because I was wearing polarized sunglasses and my filming equipment maybe didn't capture that perfectly. So take two. Look, at, he just turned left. He's swimming through there. Do you see the seal? And he's in one of the holding pools here on Ketchikan Creek, which runs right through the town from Ketchikan Lake down into the ocean. And there he goes. He turns. The salmon are scooting out of the way. There's hundreds in this pool and they're headed up here. Incredible that they make their way up this, this rapids. And just at the bottom of the screen is the fish ladder that was built by the town. I was able to just sit here for hours watching these things. There they go. Look, just watch the white water. And look at these little guys fight their way up. They sit in the little eddies outside the white water. There's hundreds of them and they're resting. And then they, when they feel rested or when they get the urge, they scoot into the white water and they, they actually make their way up there. This is a, a very long rapid. I, I couldn't believe it. Now, I did a video just recently about uh, uh, Alaska, the last frontier, LOL, where I was in, I think it was Skagway, which they should rename Scamway. <laughs> it, there's really only three stops in Alaska. There's Juneau, Skagway, and Ketchikan, and they're all tourist traps in each place. Let's zoom in here. Wait, let's forget about that. Let's, let, this is the fish ladder. Oh, look at them go. They built this fish ladder. To help the, the right there on the screen let me zoom in just watch this for a little while go 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 look at him he's in there he's in, oh he didn't make it i i watched these guys for hours i'm not even exaggerating the fish ladder is easier than the rapids and look at the struggle that they have to go through to to get up there he goes he's oh <laughs> it's crazy look at him I don't even have to do commentary. I can just let you watch this. Oh, oh, he hit the cement. They could have put some padding on the cement. They're, look at him go. They're just in the current. They just... The power that they have. This is fast running water, guys. And they scoots up. Now, just a... You had to walk about a, what, a kilometer? Or a kilometer and a half to get here. So, of course, nobody... Uh, from the cruise ships is here uh, all of these stops in Alaska the, the towns they have big ports and there's two three four cruise ships that stop there and each cruise ship has three four five thousand people so you can just imagine uh, you get off and you walk to the center of town and it's a it's ridiculous it's 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 actually stupid uh, but if you just walk a mile or two away or if you, you know, come here on your own and I'm gonna come back I'm going to drive and just spend some time in my little camper and I'll go out into the wilderness more. But if you just get off the beaten track a little bit, you can find things like this. Out of the probably 10,000 people that are walking around, look at this little guy. Oh, he didn't make it. Out of, of the 10,000 people that are walking around in Ketchikan right now shopping for trinkets, there's probably about 20, 25 people that have made their way up here. This is a Creek Street, a kilometer or a mile. Uh, made the effort to come up here and out of those 25 people there's probably four or five that are not staring at their phones and I'm not even exaggerating out of the, the 10,000 people that are in Ketchikan right now as I'm filming this there's probably three looking at the salmon uh, there's and, and probably 6,000 that are looking at their phones and maybe another three four thousand that are buying some sort of knick-knack maybe uh, an overpriced pendant that they could wear at brunch one day and someone could ask them where did you get that pendant and they could say oh we were in Ketchikan and I got this pendant uh, in the shape of a salmon apparently there's salmon there I didn't see any but <coughs> I could have just uh, sat here and watched these guys all day and we're gonna work our way upstream and follow them but uh, uh, they're abs absolutely incredible the story of the salmon is just absolutely incredible incredible but this is not a National Geographic video so I'm not gonna explain it other than to say that you know, when these guys are born 
from their eggs upstream in the uh, kind of water that's not moving very fast in the gravel beds. They're born and they work their way down to the ocean and they live part of their life in the ocean and travel tens of thousands of miles. And then when they decide it's time to go back and spawn, they can find the exact same river where they started from. And they can do that because they are capable of sensing the inclination and declination of the Earth's magnetic field and therefore positioning themselves accurately on the surface of the Earth and go back to where they were born. The, the Earth's magnetic field, inclination and declination, is, is imprinted on them when they're born and they're able to go back to that position. How can they do that? Well, animals can do amazing things. Uh, and we're not even going to get to a big discussion, you know, of bats using radar and of those uh, blind animals uh, that are an inch long with the big heads at the bottom of the ocean. They can't see, but they can sense the tiniest uh, pressure vibe change in the water so that they can swoosh and, you know, they can attack those other animals that are smaller than them. Even I made that last one up, but uh, animals can do absolutely incredible things. The salmon are just uh, mesmerizing and if you sit long enough and watch them and you start to, you know, you put your, the sound, the smell, you put yourself in their world and you try and figure out, well, you know, how are they doing this and how do they know to do this? And w the, the real answer is we don't know. We have no idea. They're much more intelligent than we uh, understand. I believe that of all animals. All animals are much more intelligent than we can even begin to imagine. Uh, it's like why do bees uh, have a hive and work together and make honey and get along you know <laughs> if we could do that <coughs> so yeah animals are smart and these salmon were incredible and they make it up this rapid how do they make it up here they use the eddies they they uh, and there are hundreds of them in this stretch i looked closely they scoot through the white water and expend all their energy and then duck into the side into a back eddy uh, along the rocks and they're sitting there along the rocks waiting for their next jump. There was one that just about didn't make it. And if you stare long enough in one spot you'll see them scoot up in water that you can't even believe that uh, they could. There's one. You see that guy? He was behind the rock in the lower right there and he scoots out. You see him? It's just uh, and, and I found myself cheering for them as they're scoot up from behind the rock and they start going I'm going yeah go 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 just incredible and they work their way further and further upstream this is one of the fastest right oh that guy just took a the leap of uh, the leap of death <laughs> and the healthy ones are moving upstream and the ones that have gotten upstream and finished spawning that are beaten up and tired and and their circle of life has ended and they're ready to die the, the current takes them back down and they up they end up in the big holding pools and they sacrifice themselves to the seal while the healthy ones uh, continue their journey. And incidentally, this, this creek is right in the middle of the town. This is one of the roads in the town. And um, they've been very careful not to disturb or to maintain repair, I guess, after they constructed this road and the, the whole town to maintain the habitat for the fish. Look, look at the middle of the screen. There goes one working his way up. The salmon have been very important for a long time here for the indigenous people that first lived here and the whole ecosystem the whole it's, it's too complicated to get into in this video but i hope in the future it's uh, respected and preserved and uh, treated with the dignity it deserves and i loved watching them uh, from uh, the ocean and working my way upstream here through the town into these more quiet areas the gravelly bottom there's hundreds on the screen there they're hard to see, but I got some better shots as I move further upstream and the water got uh, moving a little bit slower right in the gravel beds, a little clearer and sh shallower. And they work their way up here and they spawn. And this is right in the middle of the town. You see the houses in the background? Just an incredible place. And I'm sure there's much more wilderness in Alaska to explore. I will come back up here on my own. This was a good uh, teaser for me. And it was a cruise that was a, you know, it was a surprise for me. So uh, 
it was uh, it was fun. I could do without the tourist traps, but if you get off the beaten path and do a little bit of exploring, put a little energy into it, this is what uh, is worth for me. This is what uh, is worth seeing. Look at these guys there. All do you see? Do you see one? There goes one. Each little black line in the water. There's probably hundreds in this frame. And this is where they've reached the end of their journey. If you ever make it up here to Alaska, and I know that most people that will come will come on a cruise ship. It's just such a long drive. And I, I live pretty close, you know, in, uh, in Canada. And I will come back and I'll spend probably a month. But if you do happen to come to Alaska and you're in Ketchikan uh, on a cruise ship, come out here, walk up Creek Street, put your phone on airplane mode so you don't get any texts and you can't send any messages. Turn it around and turn the camera on and look at the river. Walk all the way up the river here and just just spend an hour looking. Just look. Disconnect and just spend some time watching and observing and I guarantee uh, you'll think it was worth it. It'll stick with you. And uh, Look at these guys in there. I'll leave you with that. You guys enjoy the rest of the footage I have here. Leave some comments in the comment section. Amazing spot. This was uh, this was worth it. This is the real attraction for me in Alaska. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave some uh, messages. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. If you're watching the videos and you haven't been subscribed, I'd appreciate your support. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.